Hey guys, on this episode of East County Overlanders, I have two of my good buddies, one from New York, East Coast, Middle America, Texas. We got John and Jared. Why don't you tell the fans what you drive? Yeah, so I drive a Jeep Rubicon 2019. Um, starting to get into it in New York. We don't have these deserts and hills, so getting into it right now. See how it's gonna go down here. Yeah, well, I've got a 2005 Jeep Rubicon with a four inch long arm kit. Um, majority of the off-roading we do over in Texas is a lot of rock, a lot of crawling and a lot of creeks. So I'm excited to see what Adam's gonna show us today. Uh, I'm excited what I'm gonna learn. So we're gonna take him out to Fonts Point, Anza Borrego, show him inspiration drop off, and we're gonna let John do the articulation going on a pretty good drop. So he's from New York. We we'll don't see get that in New York. <laughs> we'll see you guys out there. Here is a picture of John's 2019 Rubicon and also Jared's 2005 Rubicon. John and Jared checking out the view of the desert. Loving it. Got a whole bunch of people. What do you think, John? Great. I can't believe it. Guys, we're going up to Fonts Point, never been here, checking out the views with the East County Overlanders. Let's go, and there's Jared trying to climb out of the back, this big boy stuck in the back. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Let's go. Oh my God. Hold on a second, this is crazy. Don't trip. <laughs> This is when I gave the keys to my Jeep to my buddy John from New York as he doesn't have these type of hills or deserts out there. He had a great time coming down, making memories out here with East County Overlanders.
where are you from? Uh, we're from Oceanside. We live on a farm out there. This is my wife, Louise. Hi, Louise. Hi. And this is the Sophia, the Maine Coon. <laughs> Look at the Maine Coon out here in the desert. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. So uh, tell me about your Jeep. What year is it? How long you had it? built in uh, 1952 M38A1 for the first year they built them. It's a lot of fun. I've had it for at least 25 years, worked on it all the time, made lots of changes. And I've got uh, 16 speeds forward and four reverse. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And to the real important one in the Jeep. There she is, little Sophia. <laughs> you guys have a great trip. All right, thanks. Hey, here you go. It's a sweet place, man, it's cool. That's yeah, fun, huh? Skinny tires making the attempt. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh. Stop. So this is the end of the trail. I want to interview both John here on the ride from New York and Jared from Texas. They both are Jeepers, but what do you guys think of the desert here in California? Jared, why don't you go first? Oh, I love the sand. It's really nice to come out here and be able to go over the hills and see the terrain. A lot of good views. You can see for hundreds of miles. Enough to hear to where if you're new to it, it's easy to do. If you uh, want to go into something more technical, they've got plenty of options for that too. So you got a nice variety. Nice, appreciate it. What, do you, what about you, John, from New York? Yeah, what he said. Plus, it's electric out here. It's pretty cool. Cool place, come with the right people. Have a lot of fun, enjoy yourself, enjoy life. That's what it's about. Life is good, brothers. Thanks for coming out. Looking forward to you guys bringing your Jeeps out. Absolutely, Absolutely. definitely next time. From here, I took John and Jared to Gaeta Meadows to look at the different sculptures from the scorpion to the grasshopper. And we had such a great time out here and also wanted to say thank you to John and Jared for making the trip all the way out to see East County Overlanders. We did finish the day at Josie's Hideout Saloon to have a drink to top off such an amazing day on the trails with friends. Can't wait for you guys to come back out. Please like and subscribe, share and comment.